from a survey conducted with 151 individuals. It is derived that 7 out of 10 people are unaware of what high rise syndrome is, and nearly 9 out of 10 people do not know what to do if they were to witness such a situation. So, what exactly is high rise syndrome? Hara syndrome is a phenomenon of animals, most commonly cats, falling from higher than two stories. In Singapore, these are generally from high rise apartments like HDBs. The term also refers to the injuries sustained by the cat from falling from a great height. How does high rise syndrome occur? A cat becomes a victim of high rise syndrome when it is unable to correct its posture in the air after falling. Hence, failing to orientate itself to land safely on its feet. Some of the common scenarios which leads to Hara syndrome are cats being lured out of open windows by distractions such as birds or cats getting startled and slip off windows. And most of these situations occur because houses are not cat-proof. When a cat fails to assume safe landing position, it may suffer from a range of injuries, with some of the common injuries being cleft palate fracture, pelvic fracture, limb fracture, and treatment can cost more than $2,000, depending on the severity of the injury sustained. One of the saddest parts of high rise syndrome injuries is some of the patients are usually dead on arrival, which means they are dead by the time they reach the clinic. I remember a case a few years ago when a young boy ran to the clinic and told me his father is still parking the car but the cat is injured after falling off a building. I rushed out of the clinic and ran to the car park to meet the father and the cat but the cat has unfortunately already passed away. We started CPR as soon as possible but we couldn't revive the cat. I still remember the family crying, asking us to please save the cat. The injuries sustained by the cat rightly depends on how the cat land on the ground and luck. If the cat is lucky, then maybe only one leg could be broken. But we also have seen cases where, unfortunately, the spine was fractured and the cat became paralyzed waist down. High rise syndrome is a deadly phenomenon that can be easily prevented. All you need to do is to install suitable window grills at home. And currently, there are so many different options available. There are pretty ones, cheap ones, and others with various designs. Also, another common misconception I hear from cat owners is that my cats won't fall off the building or my cats is smarter than that. I've also met the same cat owners later when the cats suffer from high rise syndrome. At the end of the day, high rise syndrome is an accident. No cat will intentionally fall off a building. When it happens, it is often a life and death situation with a lot of regrets from the cat owners. So please, grill your windows to protect your beloved cats. If you were to witness a case of high rise syndrome, do contact SPCA at 6287-5355 extension 9. Do remember to provide details such as the condition of the cat, address of the location, your name, and your contact number. High rise syndrome in cats is not commonly known. It is important to spread awareness regarding this topic and be educated on what we can do to reduce such cases, as well as what we should do if we witness such situation. Even one small action can help change the outcome. Be sure to spread this video to your peers and educate them on high-rise syndrome in cats.